Well, happy Easter! Happy Easter! Man, I am so excited that you all have joined us to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today in our family service. Now, speaking of families, this first part of the message is for all the kids out there. So I need for you to do me a favor so that I can see all of you. If you are four years old and younger, raise your hand with that rock in it. Raise that hand up so I can see it. Raise that hand. Awesome. Very good. All right, now if you are five years older and up, please raise that hand so I can see where you are. All right, now that I know where you are, put those hands down. And I'm going to ask Miss Sarah, if there's anybody else in this room, these kids... Children that I'm speaking to, if you don't have a rock in your hands, can you all hold your hand up? Hi, Miss Sarah's going to come around and get you some rocks. All right, because it's very important, because this message, I'm going to need for you to look at this rock that I've given you, and I want you to help me out. You think you can help me out today? All right. Now, as you look, and for those of you who already have your rocks, if you look at your rocks, what symbol do you see on them? A cross, that is right, a cross. Now, yesterday was what we call Good Friday, and on Good Friday, what do we remember happened on a cross? Jesus died on the cross, that is right. Man, you guys are doing fantastic. Now, one more question, it's a big one. Why did Jesus die on the cross? Anybody know? And there he is, yes. If you didn't hear that, you need to go ask her after the service. Because that was fantastic. She's got the whole story. He died to save us from our sins, to give us new life. So, the first part of what I want you to do is when you look at this cross, this cro I mean, this rock is for you to keep. When you look at this rock and you see that cross on it, I want it to remind you of the very act that Jesus gave for us that showed us that there is no place that God will not go to show us how much he loves us. That's what happened on the cross. You see, the cross was an opportunity for God, although how sad it is and how terrible and awful it is that Jesus had to go through all that he had to go through. You know, my, wife, my children and wife were at the uh, shadows of the cross last night, and my daughter was inconsolable after experiencing all that Jesus went through. And when we, she came, she said, how and why did Jesus have to do that? And I said, you know, it is, I don't really have a why. I don't have an answer except to say this was the only way that God could show us that he will go to every length to show us how much he loves us, to give us paths to forgive us, and to give us a way for eternal life. That's what I want you to remember when you see that cross. Now, there's something else that I want you to remember. That's not the end of the story, is it? No, it's not. After Jesus died, they took him off that cross. They laid him in a what? A tomb, that's right, kind of like this one. It's a rock tomb. Now, when they laid him in the tomb, they put a really big rock, a really big stone over the, the doorway. And they sealed it shut. Now, according to our gospel today, on the first morning of the week, bright and early in the morning, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Joanna, and some other women went to go visit the tomb. When they got there, did they find Jesus? Where was he? He was alive. He was with God. That is right. Man, you guys are rocking it. That's a little pun for all you moms and dads out there. You guys are doing a great job. You know this story. But I have a question for you. Jesus 
was in the tomb, right? And there was a really big rock rolled over the front, right? Well, how did Jesus get out? Angels said he was alive, but how did he get that rock? Who moved that rock? God did. God moved that rock. He moved that rock right out of the way. I wish I could record all your answers because they're all precious. But God moved that rock right out of the way. So what I want you to do when you look at this rock, not only do I want you to remember when you look at the symbol of the cross, Jesus' has sacrificed for us. Also, when you look at this rock, I want you to remember that there is nothing that is impossible with God. That with God, all things are possible. That even the biggest rocks, the biggest obstacles, the biggest things in our lives that we think will keep us from experiencing love and joy and forgiveness that God has in store for us, that God, with God, all things are possible. When you look at that room that your parents tell you to clean, and it looks just too messy, and you just can't think, oh, there's no way I can clean all that mess by myself. When your teachers give you a project, and, they, and you just look at that, and you go, there's no way I can do that. I don't know how to do all those things. When somebody hurts you so bad, and you just don't think you have anything in you that can forgive them, I want you to look at this rock, and I want you to remember that with God, with God, you will have the power to forgive. With God, you will have the power to clean that room. With God, you will have the strength to do all that you need to do in this life. That there is nothing that God can't move to help you experience the true love of God. You think you can do that for me? Awesome. Well, moms and dads, you might not have a rock in your hands, but you know that we all need to be reminded of how much God loves us. We all need to reminded, be reminded of the power of the cross. We all need to re be reminded of the empty tomb and the rock that God moved for all of us. And so as you come to the altar today to receive communion, I hope and pray that you would lay down your burdens. You would lay down all those things that keep you from experiencing the love of God. And then I want you to lift up your hands and receive Jesus into your life anew. Pray with me. Dear God, we are so grateful for your amazing love that you displayed for us through your life and death and resurrection of your son, Jesus. As you open the tomb to reveal the awesome power of your love, today, open our hearts anew. And as we approach your altar today, may we allow Jesus, who gave his life on the cross, to forgive and redeem us from all our broken relationships with you with ourselves, and with others. And allow Christ, who gave us new life through his resurrection, to become again the rock of our salvation, through whom all things are possible, and with whom all love, joy, and peace can be experienced. Amen? Amen.